track of days when you're retired. Um, let's see. We, I've been up sewing for a few hours, a couple of hours, and it's uh, about 10 o'clock. It's just such a gorgeous day. It's a little bit... Yesterday it was more clear than today. But I'm going to have Lenny turn around, and not with the camera running, but he's going to take a shot of the... Uh, it reminds me of Coit Tower in San Francisco, but it's actually called Terry. So, this is the end of the commentary, and then we're going to walk. These are beautiful flowers that bloom year-round. And uh, you can see they're on this nasty little cactus thing that's also beautiful. At first I thought that was aloe, and I went to grab it, and it's not aloe. It's very, very stickery. Okay. Sayonara. Adios. a discussion about the dangerous streets of Cuenca of Ecuador. So first I want you to think about would you walk in Central Park at night? That's in the United States. Would you walk in Forest Park at night? Some people would. That's in Portland. Would you walk in any park, in any country, anywhere in the world at night? Some people would. Some people would get hurt. Okay, so here we are, it's 10 o'clock in the morning, and we're watching the dangerous streets of Cuenca. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> and actually, I want to specifically ask my darling son, Tyler, who I love totally, would you walk in Mary S. Young at night? No, not if you're smart. couple that's in love, sitting out enjoying the sunshine in the park that's by the river and we're just moving along, looking around. Hello, I'm still on my walk and here's another reason that it's safe to come to Cuenca, Ecuador. Even President Obama came to Colombia and Ecuador is much safer than Colombia. Ask the Secret Service men. They really enjoyed Colombia. Peekaboo to Andrew and Emma and Blake, my grandchildren, who I miss so much. My heart's with you every day. So I'm playing here in this movie. And I sure wish I had some grandchildren here to play with me. Come for a visit, please. Okay, here is an example of a beautiful, beautiful eucalyptus trunks where they've grown together. Uh, this tree is not indigenous to Ecuador, but I love that it's here because I love, e I love eucalyptus. The indigenous, um, the ones who really want only indigenous plants are not happy about it, but it's kind of taken over a lot of the rivers. So, oh, and here's some other wildlife in Ecuador. <laughs> hola, mi cariño. Uh, hola, mi nietos. Uh, mira, bandidos, derecha, izquierda, oh, de la cosa en Cuenca. Hi, Emma, Andrew, and Blake. We are in a fantastic park near our home in Cuenca, and we really wish you would join us here. It's so beautiful, and we'd love to take you on a walk. A little bit more. A little bit more. What? Just do a little bit more. Uh, it is really, we could, we could go into the park exploring. There are some great plants you can watch. There are some... Uh, really wonderful trees and uh, playgrounds what? playgrounds and there's some really wonderful playgrounds <laughs> thanks grandma they're three six and nine they want a playground okay <laughs> and they're wonderful playgrounds for you <laughs> that's good that's good
Wanna say something?